27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. All right, we got football tonight, so we may run out of time at the end of the show. So I wanted to get that four degree guarantee out of the way right now. Let me tell you something. We hit it once again. We had 80 degrees earlier on today. We predicted 78 tomorrow. A high temperature 82, almost 650 bucks in that pot. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, we're going to be dealing with pretty cool weather itself as well. We had that cold front come through early this morning. The cloud cover going along with it finally, and we're still seeing a few light clouds out there at this hour, but all in all pleasant weather throughout southern Wisconsin. Temperatures right now sitting right around 62, 63 degrees, and over the next several hours, we're going to continue to see that pleasant weather persist. Overnight low temperatures gradually dwindling towards those mid to upper 50s. Now we will see northwesterly winds again. We had that cold front swing on through, so there'll be weak west northwesterly winds, maybe getting up to around five miles per hour at times. But all in all, not a bad night in store. And as more of that cool, dry air filters back into place, we are going to be dealing with less of that humidity. That is the important part. Absolutely gorgeous conditions as you step out the door early tomorrow morning. That Dane County Farmers Market going on early tomorrow. It is going to be cut short, though, because of uh, the taste of Madison. 7 a.m. We're at 59, 68 degrees at 9 by 11 o'clock in the morning, 75, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That is when the Dane County Farmers Market ends. The Taste of Madison starts at 2. They have one hour to get all those booths down and out of the square before the Taste of Madison occurs. And I was insured earlier today by the uh, runner of the uh, Taste of Madison that that does occur and it blows everyone's mind every single year. It's pretty cool. Tomorrow, high temperatures back in the mid to low 80s. We'll see plenty of sunshine, not a cloud in the sky come tomorrow afternoon. Winds will be from the west, maybe around 5 to 10 miles per hour. But eventually we start to see some of that Additional warmth makes its way make its way, make its way back into the region. Oof, English language a little difficult this evening. 80 degrees at 5 o'clock, 76 degrees at 7 by 9, right around 71 degrees. Now we stay clear throughout tomorrow evening. It is going to be absolutely gorgeous for the taste of Madison on Saturday. That is from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you don't want to head out on Saturday and you want to wait till Sunday, because believe it or not, Sunday looks even nicer. It's all thanks to this. Look at this, our future track Saturday evening, 10 o'clock. Temperatures in the upper 60s, but look what's lurking just off to the north and west of us. A cold front's going to swing on through Saturday night and early Sunday morning. Drops temperatures just to around 62. That's fairly mild, normal for this time of the year, but look at those winds streaking in from the north. That is going to make all of the difference. After seeing morning low temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s early Sunday morning, by Sunday afternoon, we're only reaching temperatures in the mid to low 70s. So if you want to head out to the taste on Sunday, we will be seeing uh, or that will be uh, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Both days absolutely beautiful, but looking at Labor Day, things are looking essentially just as nice. We'll top out right around 73 degrees on Monday. Winds from the east right around five miles per hour. So cool, pleasant weather as we head into our holiday weekend. Even tomorrow when temperatures are warm, dew point values are expected to be in the 50s. So very comfortable dry air. So even as we deal with those temperatures in the low 80s, nice weather on the way for that holiday weekend. Again, we could not have asked for a better forecast here. Now, if you are a fan of the warmer weather, don't fret. There is some of that down the road as well. We'll look at a high temperature of around 76 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, temperatures near 79 degrees. More sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday as we head back to work. By Thursday, we reach back up to 81 degrees. So we start to see more of that warmth back in the forecast on Thursday. But then another cold front swings in and it'll drop temperatures once again. 81 Thursday, Friday, only reaching as high as 74 next week. So temperatures significantly cooler than we were yeah. just a few days ago and getting even cooler over these next couple of days. I realize your money graphics are mostly sunny. <laughs> I meant that it was going to be very <laughs> yeah. sunny, very he clear. He meant to do that. Yeah, I all totally right. meant to do that. It definitely has not been like that all day long. Not at all. No. Thanks, Gib.